Okay, so we have a plum curculio colony uh, here at the lab, which we use to uh, provide the larvae for our uh, bioassays in the field. And there's a couple of different components to this colony. I've have, I have them uh, set out on the lab bench here. So first is the oviposition uh, houses. Uh, they look like this, just basically uh, a crisper, kitchen crisper, with the insects inside. You can see that they're fairly small, uh, although not uh, microscopic by any means. And uh, I have them in here on uh, partially grown apple fruitlets. And this is the, the stage of fruit that they like for uh, uh, laying their eggs. So I keep them in um, one of these little uh, crispers for about a week, gives them enough time to sufficiently attack all of the fruits and lay their eggs inside. Uh, and at the end of that period, I take those fruits out and I put them into a rack, which you can see here, uh, which allows them uh, some space so that uh, after uh, about uh, three weeks, uh, when they've finished their development inside the, um, uh, the apple, they're fully grown larvae, and uh, they, they uh, emerge from the fruit and drop out of the bottom, and uh, they go right through. These are previous weeks of collection, so I have four weeks running at a time, and so once they have uh, emerged and drop uh, out of the rack of fruit, they end up in the bottom, uh, where I can collect them. You can see a couple of them here uh, in the bottom and then there's several more underneath the, uh, the layers of moist paper towels. And I, uh, during the season, I can usually get about, oh, say 50 uh, larvae per day out of a tray like this. So I collect them every day and um, can use them in our field trials. But if I'm not running field trials, uh, then alternatively what I will do is uh, put them back into the colony uh, in order to uh, keep the colony going and uh, for that I have uh, jars of soil basically um, that uh, allows them to uh, finish their, their life cycle. I can just uh, drop them into the soil, they burrow in and they pupate and after about three weeks um, they emerge as adults and you can see there's one adult that's emerged. So every day I have to come out and collect uh, the, the adults and sort of uh, uh, reroute them into the oviposition cages and basically and also uh, uh, take the, uh, the larvae and put them back into uh, soil jars. So that's the general setup.